right, girls. Well, we rehearsed. To the left, to the left. To the left, to the left. Everything you own in a box. To the left, in the closet. That's my stuff. Yes, if I bought it, say, don't that. Girl, we sound mad good. What's good as popping, everybody? And welcome back to my channel, Kamalam Gulelona. And thank you so much for tuning into yet another episode of Everything Lelona, where we talk about everything. And anything cheer now if you are new here welcome baby I really hope that you'll enjoy this video that will make you hit the little subscribe button somewhere over here and if you are a regular subscriber I can can say one what's good what's up what it's it I really hope that you are well and that you are taking care of yourself okay so we are back with a brand new video a brand new story time because yeah long time no see like I took such a long break after vlogtober but you know what we're back like we all are back like we never left point blank period yeah so we're back and uh yeah let's just get the ball rolling okay let's just get into the story times get into the goss get into the gist because that's why we're here okay so before <laughs> before we get into the story time i just want to appreciate each and every one of you guys Okay, want to say thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you so much for riding with me. Um, enjoyed Vlogtober. Um, yeah, I really, really, really did. I enjoyed um, um, interacting with you guys and it was so consistent. It was so constant. Like there was constant communication between me and you guys. And I truly, truly, truly appreciated each and every one of you guys. So... From my heart to yours that's what i wanted to say so today's story time i still don't have a title for the video because i just don't know but all i'm gonna say this niggas ain't shit okay this niggas ain't shit that's what i'm gonna say that's all i'm gonna say they they be lying they be they be out here cheating they be out here traveling and yeah so just to give you some context regarding the story time for today is that this guy like nothing was making sense so like i had a thing with um a superior from work um not my current job but my previous job so i had like a a thing with with one of the superiors and 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 it just didn't end well everything that guy said was a lie 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 and everything it's lies everything it's lies but that's the story time so if you are interested and excited to hear more of the story time please make sure that you give this video a huge thumbs up you comment down below you subscribe to my channel you share my video you super thanks me you do the absolute most most importantly nancy if you don't have a class we are going to fight because mina i advise you get something to drink because this tea is piping hot, yeah. It's piping hot, okay? So before we get into the story time, I would just like to quickly throw over to the sponsor of this video. Thank you so much to the sponsor of this video, Afterglow by Nayo. Afterglow by Nayo is a black female-owned business owned and run by a very good friend of mine, Amanda Siali. She's a certified chandler and candle designer. She hosts candle making workshops and fun events. So think sip and paint, but instead you're making gorgeous candles. Quality and uniqueness are guaranteed. Handcrafted scented candles are personalized and tailored for your budget. So say you're working on a certain budget, she'll definitely see what she can make with that. Very flexible, guess I know none. The candles are not like anything you will find in shops. She celebrates her black culture through her craft. One of her best sellers are personalized candles with your clear name on them. A perfect gift, if you ask me. Links to their social media accounts will be on the description box below. So do make sure that you visit them and happy shopping, you guys. So without wasting anyone's time, let's get into this video. So this story time happened a while ago, right? And I was working for like a previous employer. I'm not going to state which one because we <laughs> from our previous story times we ended up in hot waters 
hot waters because those 20 times reached the wrong ears but i'm not going to be descriptive i'm not going to be detailed when i give you descriptions of the people that i am talking about so that if they were not aware that the story time is about them they should stay unaware okay sharp so like i said i was working for like a previous employer at the time actually you know those graduate programs that most companies would have so i was in like one of those programs right and 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 so what had happened was um we a couple of us got hired by this company to do some program right the program was said to be for a year so we all, we go there we start working what 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 stop so when i got there i was then assigned to work with like three other ladies right those ladies have been there for quite a while they they are senior senior employees they've been there so i'm going to be training and learning under them yeah well so i share an office with these ladies um, I'm sure I, I, I had been there for like a couple of days. And then one day, the office in the morning. It's in the morning. And there, tall and handsome. That's all I'm going to say. Very, very handsome guy. Very handsome, some boat. Walks through the door. And I look at this guy. And I, I kid you not. I kid you not my jaw dropped because that man was gorgeous that man was gorgeous that was one gorgeous specimen of a human being he walks in and he's like good morning everybody and i'm like ah, yeah so like i am blushing guys at this point like i'm talking about this isn't because i'm like is this what love at first sight means is this what it feels like because wow this man is made for me whatever whatever god did he did it just for me when it came to this guy so he walks in right and he's like hey guys da, 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 da. and then he goes over to one of my colleagues let's give her a name let's give her the name Busisiu. goes over to her he speaks to her she then points at me and says there he is so i could hear what they were talking about right um, so he's like, I heard that you guys have a new don, 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 and apparently that person is going to be reporting to me, blah, 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 blah. So she points over to me and he turns around, he looks at me and he's like, oh, hi. I'm like, hi. He comes over, he introduces himself and says, hi, my name is Bulelan. I'm looking at him like this. I'm like, hi, Bulelani, Lelon. He's like, oh, nice to meet you, Lelona. And then he starts basically giving me the rundown of what he does and who he is and the fact that I'm going to be reporting to him, right? I'm like, sharp. So I am sitting there, guys, wet, 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 wet. It's giving, make me wet, make me water. Like, till today, till today, that man is gorgeous. So Nyanike, um, we talk for a bit and then he walks out and now I'm looking at this girl and I'm like fanning myself. I'm like, girls, who's this man? Yeah, but because now the girls wonder about nigga guys, give me two days, give me two hours with, with, with like a new group of people and I'm going to let loose. I'm going to be myself. I'm going to talk. Everyone is going to understand the kind of person I am, right? Sharp. So at this point in time, I'm comfortable with them because I've been working with them for a couple of days now. So obviously. So I'm like, it's when, who is this man? This man is straight, married, children, the work. So there's nothing suspicious or doubtful about him. So I'm like, I didn't ask that. I'm just asking who the work is this man. He's one of the supervisors. I'm like, oh, okay, cool. Hey guys, every time it comes to our office, I just buckle. Like my knees just become wobbly. <laughs> so, um, obviously, I, 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 I keep seeing him over and over and over again. So how everything was, um, we were in the same corridor, right? 
his office is the last door on the corridor. So if you're walking down the corridor, the door that's facing you is Bulelani's office. Next to it is our office. Yeah, boy? So every single morning, Bulelani comes, he greets, he walks into our office, greets, and then talks to Obusi Siwe for a bit, walks out, and then and then he goes to like his office. Him and Obusi had a had a friendship outside of work. Yeah, but the thing about who were friends outside of work as well. So they would hang out and they were friends. Sharp gonna be caught. So um one Friday, Ubusi comes to me, is like, listen, um, what are you doing after work today? I'm like, I'm not doing anything. She says to me, Bana, oh by the way, we have a tradition here where Ubulelani, myself, um, and other supervisors and managers we go for like after work drinks so if you'd like to join us I'd, I'd like i'd be happy to have you there i'm like oh sharp so that day was a friday so after work i went and i joined them at this cafe that's behind our office yeah well, we had drinks there sharp. Hmm. so oh 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 let me say this so when Ubusi and I got there, because after work, I left and went to that pub with Ubusi, right? When we got there, Ubusi walks in and then she goes and sits next to this other guy. She sits next to him. So I'm left standing and I'm like, the fuck? So I'm like looking around, looking for a place to sit on this table. And there's like no chairs. And then Ubulelani raises his hand and says, come here come sit next to me, right? So where he was sitting or on his side of the table, it wasn't like chairs, individual chairs. It was that bench type of um, situation. So he scoots over and then says, come sit next to me. So I sit next to him. Now, obviously, because I'm delusional, I'm like, he saved the seat for me. He saved the seat for me. Yeah, so I'm like, he likes me, yeah. He likes me because there's absolutely no way why he would like volunteer. Okuba, come sit next to me. Why did everyone else move? Why did he move for me? Yeah, bro. We had phone. So that to lose that guys, that to lose that, that to lose that. Bana lompana we had phone. Bana lompana we had phone. Lompana we had phone. So while we're sitting there and having drinks, come now, the guys. Conversations are flowing. I'm talking to everyone. I'm getting to know everyone. But my main focus is this gorgeous specimen of a man that's sitting next to me. We're here, we're here, we're here, we're here, we're here. We're, here. we're talking, we're talking, we're talking, we're talking. He's getting to know me, I'm getting to know him. But the, it's 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 nothing flirtatious. We're just literally two guys getting to know each other, right? We are people who work with each other and we are start we are getting to know each other. But yet because we're that delusion, I am reading. I am reading in between the lines. Yeah, bro? I'm reading in between the lines, even though there are no lines to be read in between. But again, it is what it is, didn't you? Yeah, bro? So, um, we're talking, we're talking, we're talking. We touch on relationships. We touch on um, um, family. He tells me he's married. Tells me how much he loves his wife and kids and what, what, and what, what, and what, what. He's a, yeah, now he's a, he's a, he's a, he's a, faithful he's a faithful um family man he's a committed man to his wife and he loves his children and i'm like good for you good for you <laughs> i'm not good for you the fuck so <laughs> apparently the fuck so so the day goes okay guys eventually we go home and i get home i'm reminiscing about the day that I just had, I'm like, what a beautiful day. Like, if, like, finally got the chance to have a one-on-one -on -one with this guy who I really am crushing on. And, and he showed me kindness. And to me, that kindness, I was like, he didn't have to, but he did. Like, he didn't have to, but he did. And I'm like making up like scenarios in my head. Okay, Monday, and then Monday I'm going to wear this. And then I'm going to see him. He's going to be like, he's going to catch feelings and fall in love with me. And what, 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 what? Dimkelo and my delusion. Okay? Sharp. Um, so this, like I said, this was an ongoing thing where every single Friday we were going out, right? And obviously because I'm spending a lot of time with Ubulelani, 
um, our relationship extends beyond the fact that he's my supervisor at work, right? Um, we start talking really intensely. Even at lunch, sometimes he would join me in the cafeteria. If he finds me, Ubusi, um, 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 it, was, it was always me and Ubusi. If he finds me and Ubusi at cafeteria, he would always join us. And our friendship extended beyond, like I said, beyond the fact that we work together i we even got to a point where i was calling him my work husband and <laughs> you guys but you know at at at, the, at that point it wasn't because in the um and 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 and, and nam like i think because i was now getting used to him lando yokubana like had slowly disappeared i was like i like the friendship that him and i are starting to build yeah boy? so he was my work husband i was his work husband um um, um i would call him sometimes the baby we have a cute way to but not 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 in that manner in that manner i'm like baby and i had to pay him to him yeah boy? come on but we all know that this man is a straight man sharp one time because there was like six of us in this program that i was in right it's so hot in this room here eh? yep. so there was like six of us in this program that i was in one friday ubulelan decides or asks us Sukuti, can we go out because he's never been out with the whole team he's just been out with me so from the people that i came into the program with i'm the only one that he has gone out with right so he's like no guys can you guys join us where do you guys want to go no 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 where do you want to go so now i want to start sitting down and 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 people were like tina as fully with a pansy and like sit down and and just drink and talk sifunu doof 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 yeah mom so he's like oh you guys want to go to the club the club they said yes he said we're up yeah mom said we're up let's go to the club so we left work that day and then we we all suggested okay, or we all were were like we're going to meet at this club at this time yeah well so sharp one is gonna leave from wherever they were and go straight to the club we'll all meet them Bulelan is taking us out sharp come on monday guys we get to this club and 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 we start drinking Bulelani. like ah uh, he 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 splurges on us right he splurges by his drinks pops bottles we drink and i can tell one one of the girls that was in the program i was in i think nayope the girl had a crush on him because usana girl was even like twerking on the guy who guy was just not about it like he turned around like as soon as she started twerking he turned around and was like no 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 <laughs> and in my head i was like good good when a baby good you can't trust these hoes this hoes ain't loyal you can't trust these hoes now they the girls start saying no man Ubulilan is very professional um he knows not to like step over boundaries there's lines that he doesn't want to like cross over no no no, no. and i'm thinking nope he's just not into you yeah well so now because i'm seeing him in this different light more relaxed now they they like there's no management in this in this club where we are we are at so he's like acting like himself so i i think guys i start looking at him differently and i'm like baby baby that one my baby yeah well so i think i start looking at him like that like that again <laughs> Oh dear oh dear was i wrong oh my dear was i wrong because tell me why we are all there having fun my 11 episode this boy walks into the club walks straight to where we were at into like to a section of basically he gets there and he gives umulelani a hug now this is a boy that i know and i've seen from social media him and i follow each other and i know for a fact that this motherfucker is gay right i know that this guy is gay and he went straight to ubulelani and gave bulelani a hug now i'm like why is this gay boy giving my man a hug he doesn't work with us 
I don't know where he knows Bulelani from, but why the fuck is my man Bulelani being given hugs by random boys? Why? Yeah, boy. So he sees that we are all looking at him now like, the fuck is going on? Why are you getting hugs from random gay boys? Yeah, boy. And then he's like, oh, guys, this is my cousin. <laughs> and I'm like, sure, that's your cousin. Sure. Yeah, but because now we're all like, and what I forgot to, and what I forgot to say is that during MC Benzin, there were a couple of times when people asked me, Ukuba, do you think Ubulelan was straight? So there were, it wasn't, I am not personal. When I was told Ukuba Ubulelan is straight, I was like, because my data went like this. Ikedayam was like this. And you guys know me, but I'm not my gay shame always spot on. I never crash on guys just because I have a crash. I never crash on a straight. No, I would never have a crash on a straight guy. If Umfano's straight and he really is straight, trust and believe you me, I will never have a crash on that guy. But with Ubulelan, things were different. I was like, Kasana Akuvumi. Akuvumi. Ike Dayam is not is, is saying ah uh ah -uh, sweetie this man is not straight at all yeah boy so there's been rumors there's been questions I have been asked Ukuba do do you think Ubulelani is straight straight and I never was able to answer those questions because it wasn't gonna come from me Ukuba I don't think so it was never going to come from me so like I said this boy hugs Ubulelani we all like now. Okay, that was that was a bit weird. And 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 then Ubulani says that this is his cousin. And we're all like, mm-hmm. That's definitely your cousin. Okay. So they spent the night talking. Like, and I was like, I miss this man because Galoku, he was with me the entire night. Now that we figure this boy, he's completely ignored me and neglected me. And he's with this boy, and I'm like, what's going on? we go home people go home i don't know where people ended up but i went home i slept and i kept it moving now we we had this going out this going out and what i noticed is that whenever we were going out with management because i always joined when they were going out with the management i was always there but that boy would never come when we are with management but when it's us the group and if you can you to that program trust and believe you me that boy would, would would be there that boy would be there him and Bulalan would be spending all their time sitting together laughing and people were like there's absolutely no way and it became guys that rumor became a big thing to a point where one time at lunch i i was like you know people are talking, right? He's like, about what? I'm like, people are talking about the fact that you and your cousin are always seen together. And when I say seen together, people are looking at you guys and they don't see family. They see Nyobi Nyobi. He's like, no, Mina, I would never do that with a man. I'm not gay. That's my cousin. And like I said, at this point, I follow each other on Instagram. But... When, like, we never talked, we never even talked, not, not even once. Not even once. When he got there, I said, hi, hi, he doesn't talk to anyone, he only speaks to Ubulelan, right? And I'm like, oh, okay. Like, we're not friends. I get it, we're not friends, but, Sana, okay. And I was the only gay boy in that entire group, so I'm like, okay, let's keep it moving. Let's keep it moving, Tadetu. So, um now like i said we keep seeing this boy over and over and over and over again whenever we go out this boy is always there i talk to bulelani i tell him what people are saying ukuba they are not seeing family with dynamics zabo they're not seeing family they are seeing nyobi nyobi they are seeing nyobi nyobi and 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 it's, it's suspicious it's very suspicious but we kept it moving now there was a time now towards the end of the year um the the program i was in was a was is, is our pain right 
we are finishing with this program some of us are going to get absorbed into this company some are going to be let go so fortunately i was one of the people who got absorbed into the company and 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 when we went out we went to this club right went to this club um Umulilan was there um, um um i was like we were all chilling with so when okay so let's say that when that event was organized it was supposed to be just us right the six or the five of us who were part of this program and the people that we were reporting to right but now an invitation was then extended. I extended an invitation to Ubusi and the other girls that I work with at office in. So when I got there, I got there with them. We found a table in the same section that everyone was sitting at, right? So when we got there, we got there already. Abandu were already lit because you know, we went somewhere else to go pre-drink and then we arrived while everyone else now is already lit. And I get there, um, we find a table, we sit, we'll let any clocks that we are here. He comes to our table, he's like, yo, he looks at me and says, what do you want to drink? So I'm like, um, gin. Yeah, but I'm like, gin. Remember, this is my work husband again. So I'm like, gin. He's like, which one? Enverash. I'm like, yep. So he goes, he orders Enverash and mixers and then gets them to our table. And he's like, you have to drink. You have to drink because tonight we are celebrating the fact that you have been hired full time. No, 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 no. So congratulations. He, he, he's like, no, come give me a hug. So when he gives me a hug, he, like he he hugs me like this. He doesn't hug me like a brother because Galoku Bulelani, as much as I call you my work husband, but you and I are friends, right? But he doesn't hug me like a brother. He hugs me like he wants to fuck, you know? It's making me wedgy. It's making me water. And then he hugs me. He's like, congratulations. I'm so proud of you. You did this. He looks at me. He's like, he holds me like this. Like, I'm so proud of you. I'm so proud of you. And then give me another hug. And I'm like, oh, he loves me, this man. This man loves me. And you can't guys, go sell, go sell, go sell, go sell, go sell. Go figure some other guys that I don't know, like, but very much over to very, yeah, boy. And then he's, he introduces Obusi to these guys and the girls that I, I work with. He introduces them to these guys. And then they leave our table and go to these guys, yeah, boy. Like, they were standing around. So they go and they are talking to, to like, these guys. So I'm left at the table alone. And then Umulelani comes and sits with me. So while he's sitting with me, he's like brushing my my thighs. Like I've all, uh, like I've always known that you were destined for greatness. You were you're going to make it. And he's brushing my thigh while he says all of these things. And he's like touch like he touch like he's touching me very sensually. But I'm like, do not pay attention to what is going on. That be caught. At some point during the evening, I I went to the bathroom. Right. So, in bathrooms are corner, it's the girls' bathroom on the level that we were at. You go up the stairs and then it's the boys' bathrooms. So, I go up the stairs, I get into the bathrooms. There's two urinals. There were people in those urinals. There's about three cubicles, like toilet and tontons. So, I go into one. I don't close it because I wasn't sitting down. I was going to pee. So, I don't close it. I'm peeing. And then, while I'm peeing, I hear the door of this cubicle close. Yeah, boy? So I turn around. Lo and behold. Lo and behold. You will not guess who is at the door. Who is closing this cubicle door. Mulelan. I didn't tell me. I didn't tell me. He closes this cubicle door. And then I finish peeing. I pull my pants up. I turn around. He's like, come here. Come where? Come where? So he pulls me close to him, and then I look up, and this man is tall, right? And then I look up, and then he looks down, he leans over, and he starts kissing me. He starts, he kisses me, guys, to a point in that dizzy. That one is stars. I saw stars because I'm like, what the fuck is going on? He pushes me to sit on that toilet seat i sit on the toilet seat and then he moves close to me 
Now, when he moves closer, he's unbuttoning his button, Lebrook, and unbuckling his, his, his belt. So now I'm thinking, what the fuck is going to happen? He took it out, and it was like this. Guys, like I said, this man was tall. Obviously, a ratio must match. A ratio must match. Now I'm sitting down and it's looking at me right in the eyes. And because Mina and such as I know in a room, because Mina and the Yiki saw this business, I bam, I saw that chong, a cream lonin. Bam, I saw Posa in my mouth. Why am I being like this? So, uh, took it, put it in my mouth, and I worked, child. Now, I remember my mother, one of my friends, one that told me, my legs were like this. Because, and it, we are in a cubicle, toilet, toilet cubicle, and at the bottom there, it's open. So, and funny about who walk into the bathroom, when they look down, they see two feet looking at each other so obviously what's going on you know and this is the men's bathrooms so i'm not going to be suspicious so i had my legs like this levitating while i'm sitting down my legs were like this mina because the food master's timing in no one must notice what's going on and i'm here i'm here i'm here i'm here i'm here and i could see umfana is getting tenser and tenser and tenser he's holding me by the head and he's doing this he's doing this Climax, climax, and I'm <laughs> glad to be of service. Sir. Pulls up his pants, he walks out. I close that cubicle and I sit for a couple of minutes and then I walk out as well. Now, when I walked out, when we got, when I got back to the floor of the club, um, there was like it was as though nothing happened between him and I. He wasn't talking to me. He wasn't coming over. Remember, he was someone who was all over me. He was someone who was all over me. He wasn't doing any, any of that. He was with his friends, standing there with his friends. They were talking. And I'm like, look, he's weird. And in my head, I've already like, I've already decided, Obana, after me giving him head, we are definitely going to date. He's definitely going to be my man. Yeah, bro? Where? Where? Because on Monday, when we got to work, I got to the office, when he arrived, he walked straight into his office. He didn't even come and say hi to Ubusi, his friend. He didn't come in and say hi to me. He walked and went straight to his office. And we were all like, what the fuck just happened? Like, is he fine? Yeah, boy? So I then said, let me go and check on him because why? This is my work husband. And why? Low key, we had a thing, we had a moment. Yeah, boy? So I go, I'm like, hi, are you, are you okay? He's like, come in. I'm like, okay. He's like, hi, listen, man. Um, I feel very weird about what happened. Um, that wasn't supposed to happen. You know, I like you so much as a friend. As a friend. And I'm like, oh, oh, okay. I'm like, no, man, I'm sorry if I made you I, I'm uncomfortable. He's like, no, 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 it's not you. I was just too drunk. No, 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 no. Um, I've never done that before. I'm with a guy and, and, and that's not something I want to repeat. No, 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 it's not you, it's me. Oh, I'm about to, 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 tech. Tech, yeah, well, so Loki now, I'm, I'm like Loki a bit salty towards him. Couple of couple of weeks later, we had our year end function. At the year end function, this is where I I I I I, I was like, umuto tibulelani, umuto tibulelani, because that boy, that boy that I know from social media was there. That boy was there. That boy was sitting with Bulelani at our year end function. He doesn't work with us, so Bulelani had had to have invited him, right? Sitting there with Bulelani, don, 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 and then now Abantu, obviously, they're like, hi, boss, and Bulelani, and Bulelani is with this boy again. So there's like whispers going around, whispers, 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 whispers. I'm sure in his attempt to damage control, he calls me to come and join him and this boy. 
right? Iso bangati, sikeli songe so batatu. Yabo? He calls me, nyanki ndiba joine, and, but I'm like, I low-key feel like I'm third wheeling here. Bulelani leaves, right? I don't know if he went to the bar or what, what. So I asked this boy, so tell me, um, Ubulelani now, how are you two cousins? He laughs. This boy laughs and says, I will tell and I aren't, aren't, aren't cousins. That's my man. That's your what? He's like, that's my man's. Um, we're not cousins. He just said that because Abant were like starting to pick up on the fact that there's like something going on between us. But that's not my, that's not my cousin. We're not family. That's my man's. Hey, Bo. I'm like, and then how long have you two been together? He's like, it's been a while, like, it's been a while. We've been together for like a couple of years now. No, 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 no. Hi, 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 hi. What do you mean? Because Buddha Lanukum was like, I've never done anything with a guy before. Um, but like, I'm thinking this man, what does this boy mean? Because Buddha Lani literally sat me down and was like, you know what? What happened was a mistake. It wasn't supposed to happen. I don't roll like that. I don't do niggas like that. Um, I've never been with a guy before. But here's a man saying he's been with Ubulelan for years. Why is he lying? Why is he lying? And because I'm a gay gay, I was so close to telling that boy, Ubana, um, actually, I sucked his dick. But I was like, don't say anything because if I tell him that, they are just going to fight and break up. And what would I have achieved by doing that? Yeah, boy. So I was like, I would just keep it moving, keep your mouth shut, and act as though you don't know anything. So I'm like, oh, okay, no, I hear. Yeah, boy. And then I just, I just wanted to leave. I didn't want to sit there be pretending to to be good to the like, because now I'm thinking you low key played me. You low key play, like played me. And in my head, came like a I changed a straight man. I turned him out. Yeah, well, I converted a straight man and now he's gonna be my man. And what I learned is that you will never change a man, even if you sleep with a supposedly straight man, you are not the one who turned him. You are not the one who turned him. This man either has always wanted to sleep with a gay guy. If really it's his first time, it's either he really wanted to sleep with a gay guy and you were just available. Like, you were just available. It could have been any other gay guy that this man would have gotten, but you were option number one who was just available. You understand? You're not special. Bro, guys, I was like, this is such a hard pill to swallow but i i i kept it moving i kept it moving we work husbandship yeah pella son pella because i was like i don't know if the right i don't and and and, and i never told him kind of up until i found a job somewhere else and i left and that was the literally the end of the friendship uh, we never we never revisited what happened he he like he acted as though He's really straight. And I'm thinking to myself, I know you fuck niggas. I know you fuck niggas, but okay, it is what it is. And y'all, you guys, that is the story. And this niggas ain't shit. That's all I'm going to say. That's all I'm going to say. So if you enjoyed this video and this story time, please give it a huge thumbs up. Comment down below. Subscribe to my channel. Share my videos. Super thanks me do the absolute most and again thank you so much to the sponsor of this video um after glow with nayo and you guys do check them out and get yourselves some christmas presents in the form of candles okay and always tell them that i sent you okay so till the next video i'll see you guys next time and love you loads bye